My preparation for all roles, especially Skarpia, I do in a sort of Stanislavski S method. I put all my words down in a numbered format as there are 209 phrases in Skarpia. I put bold for nouns and underline them, and I put bold for pronouns, and then I put sort of italics for adjectives and verbs, things that will spark me to do something interesting at a certain point. I put an emotion with each of the phrases so that I have an idea of what I want to bring to that one, whether it's calm, whether it's excited, whether it's angry, whether it's happy, and it helps a lot to guide the character. Tosca has uh, the combination of all the sort of Puccini-esque elements and they drive one to the deepest, uh, innermost parts of the heart and the soul and the feeling, the emotional connection that we all feel. And that's Verismo, the true-to-life sort of opera that is Puccini and is, is Tosca. Scarpia is thrilling to play because it has many facets of evil as well as gentility and lascivious kind of nature, trying to seduce as many women as possible. He talks about his credo in some ways, of uh, how he lives for real things in life, which are for him seduction. And when he has it, he just throws it to the side. At the end of the second act, there's this Jami di Convena, they call me Venal, and uh, it's finally when she says, what's the price for saving my lover, Cavaradossi? And he <laughs> exposes himself, sort of. He tells her that he has been lusting for her for a long time, and he wants now to have this possibility to make love to her as the price for freeing her lover, Cavaradossi. Having this evil Mephistophelian sort of thing that happens where you're trying to corrupt someone and find their weak points and watch them and see if you can play on their vulnerabilities, basically. <laughs> And then to finally <laughs> succumb to death at the end, to be uh, surprised by uh, someone that kills you as you're about to, you know, to take them in this uh, lustful mode, is uh, is quite exciting. <laughs> When there's beautiful music and there's a, a good story that's connected to it that moves the spirit, it moves the heart and soul, but there's also um, a play going on underneath. 